religions in this world proclaims that the God has created human beings. But our evolutionary science is saying that human beings have come from monkeys. Which one should I believe in? What do you feel closer to? <laughs> so if you're going in forward gear, go with Darwin. If you're in reverse gear, go with God. These are two different ways of doing the same thing. Sadhguru, I'm a student from science background. Most of the religions in this world proclaims that the God has created human beings. But our evolutionary science is saying that human beings have come from monkeys. Which one should I believe in? What do you feel closer to? <laughs> Being a human, I think that I have evolved from humans. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, if you are someone who is on a reverse gear, then you must choose the first one. Your religious people telling you you came from God because you're going in that direction, better not go in the direction of a monkey. Go back to God. But if you're planning to evolve, then better go with Darwin because is there room for evolution for you or are you super evolved already? I'm asking. There is a room for evolution. Huh? There is room there for is evolution. If there is room for evolution, that means there is a possibility that you can become a better man than what you're today. So if you're going in forward gear, go with Darwin. If you're in reverse gear, go with God. <laughs> yes, because if you want to go on that path, that needs devotion. Devotion means, the word devotion comes from the word dissolution. You want to dissolve into your object of dis your your object of devotion, whatever it is, you want to dissolve into it. So, in a way, it is a way of making yourself less and less and less so that you become nothing, literally. It's a wonderful way to live. It is not sounding good when you speak in language that you want to become less and less. No, when you become really nothing, you become limitless also. So, devotion is one way to go. But you don't have that because you've gone through a little bit of modern education and you're beginning to think logically. Now, if you think logically, naturally you can see life has evolved on this planet, there's no question about that. So if you want to go forward, you must see just behind you is the monkey. One step backward, you will be right there. Better you move forward quickly. Because some of the scientists are saying today that the DNA difference between you and a chimpanzee is only 1.23 percent. 1.23 percent is not much of a difference, isn't it? <laughs> so, one po if you're not happy with 1.23 percent, you must accelerate your evolution. The entire system of yoga is just this, how to accelerate your evolution in every dimension of who you are, how to hasten this process. Now that you're talking about evolution, whatever Charles Darwin said, a goat could have become a giraffe. It took so many million years. A pig could have become an elephant and it took so many million years. And a monkey became a man and it happened rather quickly. To such a point, anthropologists are saying, that there must be a missing link somewhere. It happened rather very quickly. So now, if evolution happened, when you were a monkey, you did not desire, I want to be a human being. There's no such desire in you. Nature just pushed you on. It's just life's longing. It's not a conscious thing. It's just life's longing to get better. From an amoeba to here, just imagine, the volume of work that's been done. Incredible, isn't it? Whatever amount of time it took, from a single-celled creature to the human being, what a tremendous amount of work has been done. But now you've been rendered in a space where 
your evolution has to be conscious. Fifteen thousand years ago, over fifteen thousand years ago, Adi Yogi said this. When his seven sages asked, his seven disciples asked this question, how did life happen? You have heard of the nine avatars, what are they? Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Vamana, Narasimha, Parushurama, Krishna, Buddha, Kalki <laughs> So, please uh, look at what he is saying. This is very much in parallel with what Charles Darwin is saying. First is fish, Matsya avatara. Next is amphibious turtle. Then he's skipping all the other small forms and coming to the mammals. The first mammal we're talking about, a boar or a pig, the hardest animal to kill is always a boar because it's so rooted in the body. Even today if you behave badly, the girls will say he's like a pig. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> so if something is very crude, you say it's like a pig. So first animal, mammal is the pig. What's next? Narasimha. Narasimha means half man, half animal. Next is Vamana means a dwarfed man. Next is Parashurama, a full-fledged man but explosive and uncontrolled, volatile. Next one is Rama, a peaceful man. Next one is Krishna, a loving man, an exuberant man. Next one is Buddha, who is a meditative man. Next one is supposed to be a mystical man. This is not about those individual people. This is just, these people are being used as milestones. This is the nature of development of life. In many ways, this is running parallel to Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwin's theory of evolution is only 152 years old. Adiyogi spoke about this over 15,000 years ago. And <clears throat> And then naturally the next question is, can we evolve further? Because you find, you find right now when you want to study for your examination, you wish you had little more brain. <laughs> Hello? Does it happen or no? So naturally question, can I evolve further? If a single-celled animal can become this much, can I go further? So Adi Yogi said this. This is modern neurologists are saying the very same thing in a different language. Adiyogi said, considering the nature of the solar system and the arithmetic, the way the planet, the moon, the sun, these three are very important. This is why the entire yogic system is around these three aspects. These three have significant roles. Unless something fundamental about the solar system changes, he said, your body cannot evolve further, but you can evolve consciously. When we say we can evolve consciously, I can show you or we can take you as an experiment if you're willing. Yes. Huh? We can put you on something and show you that your very fundamental genetics will change within a matter of three to nine months by doing certain things with your system. If you know, if you're willing to give yourself to a certain discipline, your very genetics can be altered, your level of intelligence can be changed, the way you experience life can be changed. So he said, you can evolve consciously, but physically you cannot evolve unless something about the planetary system changes. Modern neurologists are saying something very similar. So if you're going forward, choose Darwin. If you want to go backwards, backwards is not a bad place. If you want to go backwards, don't think backwards is a mm, negative thing, no. If you want to dissolve, you go towards God. If you want to evolve, this is one way. These are two different ways of doing the same thing.